What up YouTube? We are back out in the shop today. This will make part 12, I do believe, of the Frankenstein vlog. Um, the last video was um, a pretty good video. We showed you guys basically how to, or how we uh, achieve flushness, you know, to get everything perfectly straight, flush, and then that video kind of ran on long, so we're gonna put that in another part, and uh, I usually do these together, though, right around the same time, it's flushness and gaps. So this video, we're gonna pretty much cover the gaps. I've already got the flushness on the driver's side all taken care of, and uh, we'll go check that out here in a second, but then I'll show you guys how I was taught to do gaps, and love it or hate it, right or wrong, it's how I do it, and I get them right every time, so. Uh, Let's go take a look at it. All right, guys. You guys can kind of see down through there. Now we've got all of our panels are perfectly flush down through the side there. Everything lines up exactly how it's supposed to. Everything's flushed out here. All the way down. You can see our gaps are not terrible. Didn't really need any filler or anything here. All this stuff flushed out real nice on its own. So... Um, slight little bit of filler here but remember what I was saying about uh, probably in the last video if you didn't see it but the um, you want to make sure you just put plenty on and then sand it off so it looked like I probably had a ton on there in the last video which I did but it's almost all gone now so we're to where we need to be it's all sanded off yeah there's a big mess everywhere but I know that I don't have to keep going over add and add and add but uh, so now we will, now that we're on to that, I want to show you guys, I've got uh, this paint stick with me. It measures exactly um, an eighth of an inch, and that's what I like my gaps set at. So um, if you don't have a paint stick handy, almost all of them measure about the, exactly the same, about an eighth inch. So um, look how close these gaps are from the get-go. I mean, before we even start messing with them, it's a little tight here, but all the way down, a little bit loose, a little bit loose. You guys can kind of see that, a little loose. You can kind of wiggle it. So we're real, real close anyway, okay? All the way around, and that goes for the bottom too. But we want those perfect. You can see this stuff uh, when you're at a show. A lot of you guys, you know, probably notice terrible panel alignment. And that's why we do the things we do here. Um, you know, our we try to focus on getting these gaps and getting everything straight and aligned and when it's primed and painted and done you look down the side of the car and it's a hundred percent straight so I will go ahead and um, get my everything ready my filler and everything and uh, get this all clean I'm just going to use some wax and grease remover and clean the inside I've already taped uh, the inside here so no, no filler goes through okay so make sure you do that, get your door exactly where you want it, and then next we will uh, fill, we'll just take our same exact filler, our fiberglass fill, fill this gap up completely full, okay? Let it get about three quarters of the way dry, and then run a razor blade through it up next to the door, as tight as we can get it so we don't get into the you know get into the dirt glass but just keep your knife edges flat on that side edge of the door cut it all the way down and we'll do it in sections so you know your filler don't harden up and then you've got your door stuck closed but let's do it in small sections you get it almost set up make a cut then you can move on to the next one and uh, but what I wanted to say though I'm gonna fill this gap all the way up back up with filler okay don't trip it's going to be it it's all going to come off you guys can see how tight these gaps are anyway which is an eighth inch okay so i'm going to be putting a lot of filler in places it's not even needed but where it is needed on you know you can tell on the back side of the stick there that's where we'll need it so i'm going to go ahead and mix this stuff up and we'll get it over here and get you guys on the tripod and show you exactly how we do this process. And it's uh, 
It's perfect gaps every time. It works for me every time. All right, guys, we're using uh, just some good old Dura glass. Um, just follow the directions. Make sure you get your hardener right. Not hard. I think it calls for like one inch per golf ball size to mount. Um, one and a half inch, I guess it is. But anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up on the tripod mix this stuff up here real quick and uh, go ahead and get started all right guys I'm gonna do it in this little section here uh, that you can see oh, like I said I've already waxed and greased removed everything cleaned it let's go ahead and mix our stuff up here Make sure you get your stuff mixed in thoroughly. <clears throat> you got quite a bit of time to work with this stuff. You don't set up real, real quick, but it's pretty good stuff. I'm just going to fill this gap completely full. Just like I said, and I'll take it just like that. I know a lot of people's probably tripping right now. Oh my gosh! What's he doing with all that body filler? But I'll show you in a second. This stuff works good. It's uh, it's real thick. Good good stuff. Smooth it out all the way. Fill it in nice. You don't need anything on the quarter because we've already set our flushness. Okay, we've already done that. Now we're just worried about this gap here. If you didn't see the flushness, video go back and see that it's uh, the one right before this I'm gonna need to quit yapping and get this stuff in there but um, yeah we don't need anything on the quarter we're just worried about this gap right now so fill it in nice smash it in there remember we've got our tape on the back side so Anything that falls through, we don't have to worry about. It'll be fine. And like I said before, almost all this is going to be gone. All of it. And you, you've seen how close it was to a quarter of an inch. I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch. I did not mean a quarter. But
like I said, you got quite a bit of time to work with this, but um, just don't, do not let it harden up without getting it cut. You'd be trying to figure out how to open your door. Do it quick. if I can stand it. Just try not to get any at all on these quarters or on this door because that's already all done. there not to set up too That's about half of it. I can do the next one in the uh, next batch. All right, we'll just come in here and take a look at it real quick. Now you can see all my filler. It's completely flush. It's gonna be, you know, it, it looks, I know it looks funny. You can't hardly see the door line at all, but <clears throat> next we'll wait on this to dry just a little bit here. And we'll take that razor blade uh, right here, fresh, clean razor knife, and we'll run it on this inside edge right here, all the way down. <sighs> okay. And then that'll, we can, that'll free the door up for us. And then we'll go ahead and work this section. We'll grab our tape. We'll run our tape down at a quarter or an eighth of an inch. You know, approximately an eighth of an inch. And like I said, I've got that wooden stick, you know, to test it by to make sure it's perfect all the way down and around. But we'll tape it off. Go ahead and grind this section down and work it. And then uh, move on to the bottom section down there. So we'll give this another second here to dry up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, you can see this stuff's just starting to get rubber here. Still just tiny bit pliable, not a lot, almost hardened up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put you guys up on the tripod and show you how we cut this. It's right at the time to cut it, so. I'm just going to take this knife, like I said, run it right down this gap and try to keep it to the door. All the way down.
Now, kind of show you guys, I kind of got lost down in the camera frame there. But uh, I'll pick it up here. I went ahead and knocked it out all the way down. It's starting to get a little hard on me, but uh, that's all right. It'll still work. It served its purpose. Now this will go in, like I said before, almost all, every single bit of this will come out, okay? The only thing that will be left behind is what's needed. And you've seen how close that was with my stick. So now that we can get our door open, we'll go ahead and pop it open. Okay. And now we've got what looks like a mess. But in reality, you know, all that's gonna be ground off. So I'll take my tape here in just a second. As soon as this finishes hardening up all the way, I'll take my tape and uh, we will tape off an eighth of an inch here and go ahead and grind that all off. And then when we mesh it back up, everything that was not full before, everything that was low will no longer be low. Then we will move on to the next part. So fun stuff here at BPB. It's been a long day flowing this quarter out. If you guys seen the last video, um, it was kind of just roughed in. I didn't um, file it out or anything, but now it's all filed out. The only thing that's left is pinholes and pits, which is pretty much inevitable with this fiberglass fill stuff. But I'll go ahead and go back um, with my, well, actually I'll just use it's close enough now, I can just use my high build primer, um, you know, your primer filler. I use the U-Pole 4 to 1, it's good thick stuff. But I'll uh, go ahead and prime everything and then put a good guide coat on it, block it back out. And then hopefully we don't have to prime it no more, hopefully that's it, but or seal it. Hopefully we don't have to, you know, correct anything. Hopefully our body work was perfect the first time. But... You know, we surprise ourselves sometimes, and we even uh, have to redo stuff. It happens. We're not perfect. But we will um, go ahead and cut this off real quick. I don't want this video to be too long. It's, uh, I'll be back probably here and you know after this sets up in a few minutes and I'll show you guys how to do that but I will not probably finish out the bottom section on this video I'll just move on and finish that and then go ahead and go on to the other quarter as you can imagine this is a lot of work filming and doing the car plus I work a full-time job so um, yeah got a lot going on but you know this is how it is right here so if you guys want to learn these show car gaps and how to get that flushness this is how to do it kind of kind of looks boogered up there because of that little hump but where the filler is that I cut but other than that you guys can see that thing is laser straight now so on to the next side, it's going to be, I think, I, I did the worst side first, so I think um, this one's actually going to be the easiest. There really isn't a lot of work to do over here. It's a way better. The door is physically in a little bit worse shape. It's got a knot, a little knot here, a little ding. It got dented before it had some filler in it, and uh, a little spot there. It's got to be addressed, but nothing too major. We'll go ahead and finish sanding that off and then getting this stuff here all lined out exactly the same as we did the other side. Then comes the guide coat, the primer and guide coat. That's probably what our next video will be on this. The importance of it, especially on these big body cars. They're huge, huge cars, so... Um, every little tiny little imperfection or mistake shows and I'm not kidding you'll see it'll stand out like a sore thumb but uh, enough of my rambling this video is uh, 
getting along. So I'll be back in a few minutes here when this dries up. All right, guys, it is dry. Enough. It's dry. It's hard. All right, so our tape. I pretty much know where an eighth of an inch is um, just from doing it so many times, but just lay your tape out here right on that feel, right where you want it at an eighth inch. pretty close right there I'll uh, I'll take my grinder my two inch grinder now let me find my dusk mass Ooh, where's that at all right can't do a lot of talking with this thing on but you guys get the point here. I'm going to go ahead and flip this door open and uh, get, go ahead and grind that. All right, guys, right back in here. Um, you guys seen me use my three inch grinder, uh, 36 grit roll lock disc on three inch grinder. I just ran that right down my tape line exactly where an eighth inch was all the way down you can see and I've got uh, this paint stick here you guys can see this how tight this is now both sides all the way that's right exactly and it, it, you want it to just glide freely all the way down through there and that's what we've got there. So um, you can use anything that's an eighth inch. You don't have to use a paint stick, but uh, just uh, like I said, make your tape line, grind it with your grinder. That's the easiest way. A lot of people will say, take your block and just you know sand it over to your line. That takes forever. But um, I mean, you will. It, it it's a uh, just follow that exactly how I did it and. You, you won't have any more trouble. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> with your gaps here, that you'll, your gaps will be perfect every time. Now, I'm going to go ahead and continue on here on the bottom and do the exact same thing. It's really close to, um, but we're going to go ahead and make it perfect. Close ain't going to cut it. It's got to be perfect. So that's what we're going to do. Let's do the bottom real quick. Then that'll be done. All right, the bottom is done. You guys seen me do it kind of real quick. Um, the only thing I did do with the camera off was uh, block it. I went ahead and uh, made a makeshift block, and I'll show you guys how I do that. It's uh, don't trip if you don't, if you don't have a block. This works perfectly. Just take your paper and. Um, paint stir stick that's a classic method works great works phenomenal but uh, I went ahead and ran that because of this you know 
the what you have to work with here you can't really put an air file on this lip so once you buzz that down with your grinder with your three inch grinder then you're going to want to make sure it's good and straight and you know nice and perfect so i usually just leave a little bit above my tape and just keeping in mind that i'm going to use that block on it so i'll buzz it across there and then um, same here to make sure it's nice and flat and flush i went ahead and uh, put a little filler in you know to make up the difference here from what you guys seen before so now it's complete now there is little air pockets and stuff like that little bitty you know you know air bubbles and this and that in it that's no problem that uh, if they're very big we'll go over them with a light a uh, little bit of feather fill and uh, if they're you know just minor scratches and stuff like these 36 scratches and all that that stuff will just fill right in with our high build primer but uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much cut this video out I think I showed you guys all I wanted to show you on this one um, this is you know basically how the the pros do it on these cars they you know you want these gaps perfect and this is how they really the only way you can get them they're not perfect from the factory when you got to do quarters they're never perfect the quarters you get are never perfect they're allowed when they stamp the quarters out they're allowed like a 16th or something like that i don't even know of tolerance they can be off so <laughs> gaps and lines hardly ever line up but this is how it's done guys I hope you liked my little gap and flush videos my two little videos here within our frankenstein build if you did not see the flushness video go back and check it out the uh gaps though man look at them gosh dang those are good looking gaps perfect perfect eighth inch just slightly over an eighth inch when i get done that way when i put my primer and paint and everything on um, you know i like my stick to glide but when I, when I get my primer and paint and everything on, it uh, it's it's right about at an eighth inch. So, um, anyway, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you learned anything, uh, drop it down in the comments. If you uh, you know if you don't like what you see, drop it down in the comments. If you appreciate what we're doing, drop it down in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. We are now at 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, I say that a lot. I know. It was a big, big moment for us. But uh, we're going to try to pump some videos out as often as we can now. Maybe, hopefully, get back to one a week. Been super busy here lately. But, yeah, no more rambling on this one because I'm dying to get this video cut and made. Um, like I said, guys, appreciate everything. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you catch the next video. That's going to be priming and blocking and, um, you know, guide coats and the importance of guide coats, especially on big body cars like this. So we'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that bell and that subscribe button.